in with Madison. Hey there! Are you ready to hear a story? The Night Luna's Light Went Out by K.J. Field Earth and Luna were the best of friends. It had been that way since the early days of the solar system. They traveled in the same circles. Everywhere Earth went, Luna went too. They looked out for one another. They took care of one another. Together they watched the humans reach for the stars. They were inseparable. Luna was the light of Earth's world, especially at night when Luna came out to play. Until one day, Luna got to thinking, Earth is a lot bigger than me. It was the kind of thinking that could only lead to one place, a big black hole. Before she knew it, Luna found herself staring right into the center of it. But the thoughts just kept on coming. Earth had so many magnificent qualities. Earth had color. She had flowers that carpeted her meadows in sunny yellows, royal purples, and delicate pinks. She had lush gardens dressed in every shade of green imaginable. She even had trees that changed hue every couple of months, from green to red-orange to white. All she had to do was tilt a little to one side as she spun her way around the sun, and the seasons just followed her lead. Earth had oceans. Not one, but five vast bodies of water rippled across her surface. In her tropical regions, she had delightfully warm water that teemed with vibrant sea life. And in her polar regions, she had refreshingly brisk water that ferried icebergs between snowbanks. Not only that, but Earth had something nobody else in the whole solar system had. People. People who sang and danced in her lands. People who raised their monuments to the sky. People who engineered rockets and spacecraft. People who explored worlds like Earth and the moon. Luna didn't have any of that. No people to build things. Except for a few visitors Earth sent her, all of whom left in a hurry. No meadows to dance in. No water to flow across her surface. And everywhere she looked, everything was the same color dusty gray. There was no doubt about it. Earth was really going places. Luna, it seemed, was just along for the ride. And so one night, for the first time in four billion years, Luna's light went out. Then she slipped away into the darkness, far away from Earth. Nothing was the same without Luna's light. Earthquakes rattled Earth's land and shook her to the core. The monuments people had built crumbled to the ground. All of Earth's creatures hid and trembled in the shadows. Volcanoes spewed hot lava, ravaging her dewy meadows and seeping into her aquamarine oceans. Giant waves swept over her shores and then lay eerily still. Earth's insides were ripping apart. Earth began to tilt in new and dangerous ways. Her beautiful seasons were no more. Everything was wrong for Luna, too. She had lost her best friend. Even worse, she had hidden her face from the sun. It was the sun that gave Luna the light she reflected back onto Earth. Without the sun's light, Luna couldn't shine for anybody, not even herself. Away from the sun's warm rays, Luna grew colder by the second. She was alone. Until a familiar voice broke through the silence. Luna, please come back! Reaching out into the darkness, Luna felt the magnetic presence of her old friend. Earth drew her in close and gently turned Luna's face toward the sun once again. In the soft glow of her new light, Luna could see things she had somehow missed before. She had tall mountains. She had dark patches that came from ancient lava flows. She had craters with long rays that resembled the sun. And she had moonbeams that shimmered a silvery gold as they brightened the paths of all Earth's creatures. There was no doubt about it. Luna lit up Earth's night sky in a way nobody else in the entire solar system ever could. From the sky to the sea and beyond, Earth and Luna made a magnificent team. 
the end. Okay, thumbs up if you enjoyed the book. Nice. If you would like to purchase this book for your at-home library, you can click on the link in the description box below to support the talented authors, illustrators, and publishers. Thank you for watching, and remember to hit the subscribe button if you want to hear more read-alouds, do some science experiments, watch videos about letters and numbers, and do some really fun arts and crafts projects with me. I'll see you next time. Bye! Thanks for watching!